Welcome back to another 12 Days of Christmas. If you are new here, my name is Whitney or Whitney Bella. Call me whatever you would like. And to, on today's vlog, we will be setting up my guest room. I always call this room my nursery because this is what I want the nursery, to, where I want the nursery to be. So in the meantime, because I'm not pregnant or anything, um, I, we've been putting, well, I've been placing like all of the seasonal decorations that I don't use in here. So today we're going to be cleaning this room out because we have family coming and we are already by the bed. So Elsa's going to be putting that bed up while I remove everything out of this room. So that's basically what y'all going to see today is us decorating. Well, not really. I literally can decorate this room and don't have to buy anything because I have so much stuff. So we'll see. If you want to continue to watch this vlog, stay tuned in. Hey y'all, welcome back to another 12 Day of Christmas vlog. So today we will be cleaning out my guest room. I really call this room the nursery because this is where I want my nursery to be. I'm not pregnant or anything, so that's why we are turning it into a guest room because we do have family coming. So Ellis will be putting up the bed. I bought a bed. Um, hopefully it, hopefully, preferably, everything goes well with that bed. Because you know when you buy furniture from Wayfair, it could be a hit or a miss. So, while he's doing that, I'm going to be removing all of the decorations, seasonal decorations. <laughs> Winner's right here. Look at me. Look at me. Um, so, I'm going to be removing the seasonal decorations and extra pillows. <laughs> Ellis is behind the camera making me laugh. So I'm going to be removing all of the extra stuff that we don't need in here out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to put some calm, relaxing music over it. So continue to watch. So I want to show y'all the room and how it looks before we get started. So I just have an extra shelf right here with things on it. And yeah, this is an overview. That is the bed else we'll be putting together. That is a computer screen or a monitor. All of these decorations, pillows. Literally no one is ever in here. <laughs> um, our extra um, blankets and quilts that Ellis' grandmother made for us. <sighs> a picture that I never hung that I didn't end up taking back. And it's too late. Um, yeah, Ellis' tool kit. The centerpiece for our dining room table that's not in use right now because I have Christmas stuff on the table. A bowl of balls, some Halloween stuff, and some Christmas pajamas. This is for my sister and mom for whenever they come. So yeah, let's get to cleaning up this room.
y'all so in the previous clips you just watched you saw my husband building the bed so like i said wayfair is known for having missing parts or having defective parts so i don't know why i'm so upset right now because he couldn't finish the bed because we are missing one part and they're saying that the part won't be here until maybe december 18th through the 26th I need this bed put together before Friday. <laughs> we have multiple wayfarers here in Texas. So right now he was calling the around to see if he can go pick up the piece. <sighs> if not, we're gonna have to just buy a bed frame from wherever we buy the mattress. So, I will let y'all know what happens. Right now, he is putting the bidet in our guest bathroom. And I am washing dishes, like always. Don't you feel like you're always washing dishes? It's always you washing dishes, or you always washing and folding and putting up clothes. Like, it's, I feel like our kitchen can never like just be, because it's always some dishes. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, after I get done cleaning the kitchen, I'm going to go in that front room and clean that up. After that, we probably will go out to see if we can find a mattress and potentially a bed frame. It's so annoying. <laughs> but a part of me feels like we got a bed frame somewhere. Let me go book. cleaning the kitchen while he was putting up a day in that guest restroom well it's the guest restroom but that's really the toilet that's ellis bathroom 
I never go in there. I never use that bathroom. Ellis will take showers in there. He uses that toilet. I don't do anything in there. But restock it and clean it. So I am finishing up cleaning the kitchen. I just cleaned out the refrigerator. It looks so nice in there. Um, we need to do a grocery haul restock. We probably won't do that until like Thursday before everybody gets in. Um, I just cleaned out my seasoning drawer. Um, filled everything back up. While I was doing that, Ellis was cleaning the floor, sweeping and vacuuming. So I will be mopping the floors. What else? I'm gonna wash the blanket that's on the couch. I'm gonna do some laundry. I'm gonna clean that front room. So I will come back to y'all whenever I'm cleaning out that room. That room, look, I don't even know if I'm gonna come back to y'all because that room is out of control. Just like that back room I showed y'all where I was like placing all of, all of the seasonal. I literally just be just placing stuff in this room. It's just like a room for me to place stuff. So that's what <laughs> that room looks like. So much is on that desk. I need to sell that desk. We still need to have a garage sale. It's so much. I got so much stuff. I need to have a garage sale. Maybe next year. But yeah. I may come to y'all with that clean or I may not. But like yesterday, I want this video to be up before 6 o'clock. It's 3.41 right now. So we shall see. I do not want it up after 8. So. Hey y'all, so Ellis and I are about to go to Bucky's because I feel like it's blurry. There you go. Hey y'all, so Ellis and I are about to go to Bucky's because I'm craving a Bucky's pulled pork sandwich. Is the one want pulled pork or brisket? I don't know yet, but one of them. I want a, a Bucky sandwich. They expensive sandwiches. Y'all see my clean kitchen? Oh, it just looks so nice. <sighs> I gotta wait for Ellis because I'm always waiting for Ellis. Why are you lying to him? I ain't always waiting for you. Oh, you ain't. I'm always waiting for you. It's 417 right now. This vlog will be up before six. Tomorrow? Today. Every day gets a vlog. Oh. It's two days of Christmas. Mm. So when you get home, you gonna put that up? Yeah. I gotta edit it. Yes. You gotta take this trash this trash bag outside. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. You filled it up to the brim with all that. I did shit. fill it up. That's yes, recycle. Did. I said I did fill it up. No. You gotta take it outside? No, then. it's heavy. Well who take it outside then? The man of the house. That's a man responsible. I told you I identify the button non binary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna hear that shit. Don't let, ladies, don't let your man play in your face. <laughs> I clean when I cleaned out the when I cleaned out the refrigerator, I was playing with all the expired stuff, so that's why it's so heavy. But yeah, we about to go, so I'll see y'all at Bucky's. Ranch nut, he just eats celery. I'm like, give me another one. And a bag of chips, a bag of beaver chips. <laughs> Is that what you want to eat tonight? Yeah, Which one are you getting? I think your daddy said the three meat were nasty. We can get one for, we can get one and share. And then we can get, uh, get one for you, one for me tonight. He brown. Yeah. I wonder how much you use. Twenty thousand dollars. That's close. Get you a little bucky outfit, babe. We ain't got no bucky ornaments. You can get that for your mama. Get, get that from your mom. I ain't that also getting the buckets, ain't it? I don't know. I should have got us these. 
How expensive was it, man? I'll link them down below. They came from Amazon. They should have been cheap then. I should have bought them. Make sure I'm going to do that. We need a little. Your hair looks so yellow on, on here. We should bring him here to get a uh, Texas souvenir? Yeah. I, mean, I need a Texas souvenir. Do we? I don't think we got one. They got Houston and Austin. They need a... Uh, Dallas? No, they need a... Uh, Clean? Uh, Temple? Temple. Hey y'all, so we just got back from Bucky's. And I wanted to show y'all what we got. So I got a Bucky cinnamon roll with pecans, not cons. <laughs> got these barbecue chips. Ellis got these kettle sea salt and honey Dijon. And here are the heavy hitters. We got a double XL big bucking brisket sandwich. This is what it looks like. It's thick, it's about big as my head. We got a regular size brisket. So let's compare them. I don't know if y'all really can tell the difference. They kind of don't look different. They look the same. It's the weight. And then I got a pulled pork. And that's all we got. So, this will be the end of today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching Ellis build the bed, even though we didn't get the finish complete. We, did, we didn't complete the bed because we we're missing the part because, you know, Wayfair and their antics. antics. But y'all did get to see him complete the bidet in the guest bathroom, AKA Ellis bathroom. So now he can start using that bathroom when he blowing it up. I am putting you on black like that. Clean the kitchen. I still need to mop the floors. I'll do that after I get this video up for y'all. So I hope y'all enjoy your night and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and if you made it this far, comment down below. What can we comment down below? Do they have a cinnamon roll emoji? Thank you. Comment down below a cinnamon roll emoji. Let me make sure that they got one first. They don't got no cinnamon. Mm -mm. Yeah. Comment down below a sandwich. Hamburger. Let me see hamburger. <laughs> yeah, comment down below a hamburger emoji. So let me know that you made it this far. Bye y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow.